Greetings and salutations. Welcome to this attempt at a multiplayer game of Civ 5. Uh, I'm Keb. And I'm Perry. And we're gonna yeah, well, see if we can get this to work properly. We've had some small issues before, so... Um, at any rate, we're playing pretty much a standard game on Prince difficulty. Standard contents, pretty much everything standard. Simultaneous moves, not, no real special rules or anything. So, and we're also gonna go with random leaders, so... Who knows how this will pan out. We'll find out very soon, I guess. Um, okay. In a few, four, three, yeah, and of, two. Mm. And of course, it's without music because we can't play with music on YouTube. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, I like this pick. Who did you get, Gandhi? No, Pocatello. Shoshone. Okay. Ah. Okie dokie, let's see. It's been yeah. so long since I played, so I forgive me if uh, I uh. mess with stuff. Uh, da, da, da. Ye like arms, there we go. I knew I was missing something. I'm missing lots of things. <laughs> yeah, I start with the Shoshone. I like them because because they're exploration bonuses. And of course, extra cultures, culture borders. Hmm. And I have the I have the Maori. Oh, okay. Who, for some reason, their first city is called Honolulu. That's not the Maori. That yeah, that's the uh, yeah. Polynesians or yeah, it must be. I mean, my my infantry unit is called Polynesian, or it's called Maori warriors. So, hmm. what do I know? <laughs> ah, it's been a long time since I played, so yeah, I'm kind of gonna mess around here. It's gonna take a while before I figure out. Oh, you and me both. Hmm. Let's see, open the tech tree. My goodness, ah, we're gonna go with. Oh, and for Cows. those who were curious, we had been playing a Stellaris game at this point. We kind of reached the, reached the point that after several days, of, you know, several periods of discussion, the outcome was kind of known. So, after a couple of games of building civs on the stars, we're gonna go older school and build a civ on a planet. <laughs> so, the first one of us to get particle lances wins. Oh boy. That was a boring ruin. You found something already. Ah, boo. <laughs> no, I, I explored a ruin. I didn't find anything. A little bit of gold. Alright, we did change one thing. Abundant resources and it... Yeah. It is abundant. I'll give it oh. that. It's always sad when you play a game and... It, and your spoil your start is completely spoiled simply because you know the resources are scattered poorly uh, that's is it there we go so it's the management uh. yes 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 uh, how would Kind of annoys me. I need to find. I need to find good yachts. If I'm going to play Shoshone, I need to find the good yachts. Otherwise, my advantage goes to waste. Uh, yeah, it does because th there they start with the Pathfinder unit, which basically lets you choose the bonuses from good yachts. Well, that's, that's very nice. Oh yes, and you also get extra territory with each founded founded city. So, uh, quite a few squares available to me, but which I haven't found a, a single hut. Yeah, you know, it's a neat trick on a map on a map with uh, hexagons, and yeah, the resources are really nice. Should have played an abundant more often. <laughs> I 
Although you're winning on the scores. Yeah, that's basically because of this, I start with the tunnel territory. Ah. Hey, I already found barbarians. That's always encouraging. Oh, good lord. Well, that was an ugly peninsula. All desert and mountains. And no goody huts. Oh, goody huts. Okay, I... You kept saying that word, and I didn't quite understand what you were saying, but now I figured it out. Now I know. So, wasn't sure what it was. I was lost and confused and alone, and there were wolves after me. It's gonna be typical, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna be playing this the short Shoshone and not find a single heart, I'm sure of it. <laughs> single ruin. Yeah, but I always call them goody huts, even if they're called ruins now. Uh. That's right, no, that's, uh, that's what you should <laughs> kind of view them as, because they are kind of goody huts. Yay, uh, barbarians. Oh. oh yeah, I've got a fortified encampment of them just, just outside my capital. Finally! Go for it! Go, go, go! I half expect that you should pop show up here and grab it from me. Oh, what I do that? Yeah, actually, I probably would. <laughs> if we started close enough, you would. I still have no idea. I'm in the southern hemisphere someplace. Now you have the advantage of you can go straight out to sea if you want to. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Um. Well, other than the fact that I don't have I don't have any ships yet. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I think. I can buy tiles. I don't. It's not about ships. You can disembark. I can. Who knew? <laughs> that's yeah. That's your. I believe that's your unique ability. You can always go in the Cyclopedia and check. And watch the game crash? No thanks. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go with mining. We found horses and more horses. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yeah, you could say that, my goodness. Oh, my, 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 my. I like this. In some ways, this is actually an interesting choice for us to switch over after playing a couple of things of Solaris, because I had followed Solaris so closely and knew it probably quite a bit better than you did. Now we're back in the Civ where you know it considerably better than I do, and I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, well, it's been years since I played, and I generally don't play on the, the speed or this difficulty. Um, so I'm making a lot of mistakes. I'm sure of it, but... But at least you're having fun while you're mistaking. Wait, no, that's not what I meant to say. Yeah, oh, there we go. That's all. Let's switch them around. Um. My problem is I started in Tundra. So my city growth is, is gimped. I started close to Tundra, but not on it. I am, instead, I'm along a river with a ton of sugar. And horses, and cows, and stones, and dyes. But no ruins. Well, I found one! And then when that, when I used that to get an extra population. And that'll hopefully be very useful. Oh, and a second ruin. And... okay. Natural wonder, what did I find? What did I find? You found one too. Holy smoly! What'd you, what'd you find? <laughs> I found El Dorado. Oh, good God. Thank well, you for the gold. I'll be using that. For, for the rest of the game, yes. Uh, da, da, da. Well, let's see. Uh. Yeah, I'll do that at least. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I could do that. 
Uh, do I want to be gambled on this? I just found it amusing you found El Dorado the same time I found Mount, found Mount Fuji. It's like, we both, both find uh, wonders at the same time. And Mount Fuji isn't bad either if you settle near it. And just as, still, I, yep. as I remember, anyway. Oh yeah, it's, it gives a big happiness bonus. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> I am absolutely t burning up the bottom of of the, the point the point pile right now. Uh, it'll change. Remember, you have a brain. The AI do not. There are some days I'd argue that. <laughs> I come to think of it, do I still get the Abu uh, Barbarians? Let's see now. Pride of Ancestors and uh, Native Tongue. And do I still retain the profit? Yeah. I still retain that promotion. Very good. I am on a smallish continent, as far as I can tell, surrounded by city-states. But you have the advantage, you can just move straight to the sea, I think. Yeah, I think, maybe, I don't know. We will find out. Uh, in a couple of turns. Maybe. Uh, unit all oh, still you. Okay. Found one city state. Okay, well, rather, how do I get down to you? Oh, dough! Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, rookie mistakes and all that. Good god, yeah. I'm very rusty. What I just what? lost my worker. Two barbarians. Oh, you were exploring with a worker? Or you? No, I just hut? I f forgot about the fact that oh, I have I actually have a barbarian right next to my capital. Whoops. Kind of. Whoops. <laughs> See, silly me. I wouldn't kill that. I wouldn't kill that barbarian. Uh, oh, well, at least uh, one. At least one of the old tricks that I that I knew still worked, so that helped. You attack the. Early in the game, you know, really early in the game is the only time this works. You attack the barbarian. You you get, you know, two attacks in. You've both whittled your units down. You get enough XP to level up. Use that to full to auto heal and you know finish off the barbarian. Then life is good. Until it's not. Uh, I'll just I'll recover from this, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It shows just how rusty I am at this game. My goodness. Oh no. Well, hello Brazil. Why do you have to come here? This area is mine. My goody hats. There's the Vatican. Okay. Choose production. Hmm. Right, and I'm also so used to playing in single player that I've not, I don't really recall the alerts I'm not getting. There are a few of them. It's kind of confusing me. Oh. That's okay, I'm confused too. I'll take I'll take that out of a ruin. I don't think I'll find any more. I found two ruins and I, I think it's gonna be it. Because I found the Brazilians. Boo. Oh well. And there's the Indonesians. Ah, crowded. 
This place be crowded. Oh wow, I can even go through deep ocean. Yep. Welcome to Polynesia. I found a wonder of the world, a barbarian tribe, and a ruin. Indian spearman. Ah. Oh, did you hear who they got to uh, be, to do the announcing and the the narrating in Civ Six? Sean Bean. Yes. He has to die by the end of each game now. <laughs> That's where Brazil is. Please don't be here to steal my worker. I need to recover my worker. And, and policies. No one was this again. Hmm, I found a damaged barbarian tribe. I might have a neighbor. You're already, wow, you're way ahead of me. Well, then again, look back at the score. You're way ahead of me. <laughs> well, I could sort of buy a, mon a worker and a monument, and yeah. Eldorado kind of turned the game for me. I mean, I go, I could only find two good yachts in time, but that's okay. Let's see, we'll be mostly fighting in. Yeah. Open train. Yay! I got my worker back. That's good. Uh, let's see for how long. And now let's see if I can find a good yacht that Brazil didn't pop. Mm. Ah well. So it looks like I might already have expand, <laughs> yeah, already lost the advantage of being Shoshone, the Pathfinders, since Oops. I was going to find two ruins. Oh, I've, I, my border to the west is India, since I just met Gandhi. Well, they are worse neighbors. Any neighbor's a worse neighbor. I don't I don't like having neighbors. Actually no, he's my northern neighbor. Okay. <laughs> Let's see now. Next barbarian is down there. But they're kind of protecting me. I don't want to mess with them. Um But I do want to get Eldorado. Ah, I need settlers. Well, I just Oh, sit here. I want settlers. Maybe I shouldn't have built that one. Ah, oh, oh. Well. Oh, good God. Ah. Starting to get barbarian tribes all over the place. Yeah, that's what happens. Wait, I thought I met. I thought I met the other. There you are. Okay, got gotcha. John. Uh. I met an AI, I'm dead. Okay, okay. Ah, da, 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 da. Should 
choose production. I'm gonna go with a settler. We need to grow. And quickly. And I'm not over in first. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'm still I'm still f first of last place, so <laughs> I'm I'm winning the bottom. Yeah, Pedro and I are not going to be friends. And I don't know where Indonesia is, but I'm not sure. They must be on the same continent. Right? Is it nearby, nearby someplace? Uh, uh, not nearby, exactly. Uh, well, there we are, public declaration. I'm almost starting to wonder if they uh, already crossed in sea or something. I don't know. That was a mistake. Ah. My goodness. Yeah, resources are very abundant. Yeah, yeah I'm not complaining. Uh, who do I... And they have Austria to my west. Okay, good. I hate to think that with... They have a second, second nation to my north. What to pick? What to pick? Samir Khan is under attack. Um, lost it. So I have three neighbors on this continent. I have a Spanish also. Yeah, you're gonna have a fun game then. Not, <laughs> not any part of the English language I would use in that sentence. New I'm going to have a damn nuisance of a game is what I'm going to have. Hmm. Let's see, if I go with that, I'll take next policy. Four turns, 30... Uh, mathematics. Why must mathematics be hard? Uh, I'll go with that. 16 turns, okay. Now, one of the very nice things about the Shoshone is that the, uh, the uh, Pathfinders can choose their upgrade, right? Uh, choose their bonus, right? And one of them is to upgrade immediately. And they can upgrade straight to the Composite Bowman. That's nice. Uh, that's very nice. Uh, so I at least, I at least got one of those. That's kind of my favorite thing to do. And still, I found two huts. Ah well. Guess I can't be complaining too much. Nonsense. You haven't begun to complain yet. I have faith in you. <laughs> Well, fair enough, I'd like to wine. Uh, da, da, da. That's why we get along, because I like to dine. You wine, I dine. Well, come on, Pedro. Let me explore this area. Even if it's right next to your capital. Oh, 
But yeah, getting that composite bomb and that's... <laughs> it, it does a good job fighting the barbarians at this stage, so yeah. No, it annihilates the barbarians at this stage. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering how that's gonna pan out in Save 6, the whole new Barbarian system. <laughs> oh, I hadn't paid any attention to it. Yeah, basically, the Barbarian encampments, they will, all of them will spawn scouts. And they will send out those scouts, and if the scouts find you, they'll immediately head back to home and report that they found you. And okay. if you don't kill them before they do that... The horde comes? Yes. So you basically forced to deal with that. And if the barbarians start near a special resource like horses, they get access. They, the, yeah, they, the horsemen is a you know. yeah. Maybe I won't get Civ six. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll just go and get an, an upgraded copy of Solitaire. <laughs> Oh, come now. It's not going to be that bad. I don't know. Solitaire, solitaire can get pretty mean. Hey, Lake Victoria, I think. I wish I'd started near there, but no. City State took Lake Victoria. Boo. You found Lake Vicky. Victorian 3. It's about as likely happening as Crusader Kings 3. Uh, da, da, da. So let's see. How do I best ruin the game for you, Pedro? I wish I knew where the heck Indonesia started out, because this is really strange. I can't help you, unfortunately. I have not met them I, here. I don't know, I assume they must be... Uh, they must have crossed the ocean already or something, I don't know. That or they're very, very far in the south of this continent. Oh, and someone took... The first Indeed, pantheon already. already. Oh, I completely forgot about those religions. Whoops. Uh, yeah, okay. Completely forgot that existed in this game. <laughs> it's been yeah, it's been quite a while since I played. Oh my goodness. Uh, the, the, the technical term for that, folks, is whoops. Well, I bumped into Gandhi, but I'm not sure how he got where he was. Magic. Yep. Speaking of magic, it's that time again. Okay, then. I guess we'll take a short break, and we will be right back and see where we end up in this game. We're so rusty, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, folks.